we've been through the disclaimer already. So today we're going to start um, our, you know, more in-depth Western medicine modules combined with Chinese medicine. We're going to be talking about miscarriage, recurrent pregnancy loss, thrombophilia in pregnancy, ectopic pregnancy, adenomyosis, endometriosis, and PCOS today. So let's jump right in and start talking about miscarriage, which is probably as, um, you know, fertility, gynecologic, women's health practitioners, the thing that you're going to come across with the greatest frequency. So you want to understand all the different variations and variables that might arise with your patients. Uh, a, a miscarriage is defined as the spontaneous loss of a fetus before the 20th week of pregnancy. And after the 20th week, it's referred to as a stillbirth. Miscarriage is a naturally occurring event. So it just happens. Somebody starts to bleed or cramp and the uh, body aborts the embryo or the fetus without any intervention from a medical provider. Whereas a medical or surgical abortion involves a care provider uh, making that abortion occur. Uh, sometimes a miscarriage will be referred to as a spontaneous abortion and other terms that you might hear would include a complete abortion. So that means that the person has had a miscarriage and it has been confirmed that all the products or the tissues of conception have left the body. It's exceedingly common that incomplete abortions occur. And an incomplete abortion where only some of the products of conception leave the body can result in long-term fertility issues because that tissue from that incomplete abortion functions um, as a, a almost like an a uterine IUD. It prevents implant can prevent implantation. It can prevent um, the you know spreading out of a placenta or it can also create inflammation in the uterus. An inevitable abortion uh, are symptoms that simply can't be stopped. A miscarriage is going to take place. There's nothing that we can do about it. An infected or a septic abortion, which unfortunately in the US we're becoming far too um, familiar with this issue due to some of the wild laws going on in some of our states here. That's when the lining of the womb or the uterus and any of the remaining products of conception become infected and can lead to sepsis in the mother, which if left untreated is fatal. A missed abortion is when a pregnancy is lost and the products of conception do not leave the body. It's sometimes referred to as a blighted ovum where um, somebody will think that they're, they will get a positive pregnancy test, so be pregnant for several weeks, go to the doctor for their first ultrasound and discover that there is no uh, embryo growing in the sac. It's just the presence of what appears to be a, a pregnancy, but it, there is no developing embryo. Um, you may also hear a healthcare provider use the term threatened miscarriage and where somebody is presenting with symptoms like abdominal cramps, maybe they have some bleeding going on. Uh, just a sign that miscarriage may occur and then it would be necessary to then determine at that point, is this an inevitable abortion or is this an, a, um, a pregnancy that could be saved? Um, if you want more data on this, this came from this Medline Plus 